it's Swiftkey, and welcome back to Frambo. So, the last time we managed to escape a Thursda, uh, we did a bunch of stuff for the wizard, and he got us back to our real world, and turned us back into a human. So, it looks like we're on the opposite side of the bridge. You might remember the goat demon, aka Remor, I think his real name is. Um, the Terrible Black is also his name. But uh, he broke the bridge and sent us down, craning down into the ravine, and that's how we ended up in the Thirst in the first place. But it looks like our pills are here. Are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? Oh, they were attached to a string. I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Yeah, stay on target there, friend. Where'd Mr. Midnight go? Oh, Kitty, did you see that? The pills move by themselves. Yes, I think that's very strange. I agree. Home. That's convenient. Convenient sign is convenient. Home. I guess home is in that direction. How do you know the sign is for your home? <laughs> it's another tree. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little tree house on. How lovely. Let's try to get my pills again. Pills? Don't move. Og! You want to show me the way back home? Yeah, this doesn't seem sinister at all. Else to interact with, or is it just the pills? Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh no! I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend. Bad, bad. Uh. Can I cut myself out of this thing? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Mr. Midnight. I'm sorry. Well, that was fun. What the? Oh gosh, what kind of voice am I going to give this guy? Hmm. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You look, you seem familiar. Yes, I'm a creature of the night. We've played, to, we've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? Oh, right. No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told your stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home or I can't trust you. I'm gonna say take me home. Take me home? I can't let you do that, I don't know you. I won't hurt you, I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm, all right, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine, come on now, I have something to show you. Oh, wow, you are really tall. <laughs> you are the most dapper frickin' skeleton I've ever seen, though. I feel like I should give you a more dapper voice. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. Behold! The Edward flying machine. What do you think? Uh, I love it, or can it fly? I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. 
Right now, we're standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But, sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries, all right? Uh, all right, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need berries in the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt, the camelas. Oh, camelas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your, med your medicine, you need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Okay, so I get to see spooky things again. Yay! Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Okay, brace yourself for creepiness. Interesting. Oh, wow, so much hair. It's so shiny. I feel like it in a magical world of hair. Okay, Mr. Midnight disappears when we're having pill hallucinations. Which concerns me. Oh, okay. That's a whole lot of creepy. There's the fireberries. Uh, hi. Get out. Or, oh no, that's him. Get out, get out. You are trespassing on my territory. Huh, excuse me? I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. A deadly worm? Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A de deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, he's right. They're gonna, like, burn the crap out of my hands. I have the water bucket. Maybe I can get that. I can't take the fire berries. They're on fire! Mmm, delicious berries. Okay, can I get back down? Okay, so we need to figure out- that's- that face is creeping me to freak out. Like, what's going on over there? Wow, so much hair and so shiny. Hell, oh my god. Hell? Well, I don't want to go there. Alright. There's also no source of water anywhere around here. Oh, um... Hello. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. 
I've met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Ah, oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Uh, she's trying to grow her hair. Okay. Oh, there is water down there. Moonlight shine. It's very romantic. This is very odd. When we fell into a thirst, there was no water. Oh, there's the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door in the thirst is underwater. Uh, I'm guessing I can't reach it. Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. Hmm. Can I take the pills here? Okay, do we really need this jump scare sound? Okay, can I use, like, her hair? I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Aw, oh, thank you. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry. I don't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are on your own. You are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Oh, the bucket is full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't weigh anything. What? All right. Can we use that on the fireberries? Maybe. Get out, scaven- er, get out, scavengers. It's me, sir. Can I climb that moose again? Go ahead. Thank you, deadly worm. All right. The fire's gone. I can take the berries now. Can't just pull them off with my hands. They're firmly attached. Uh, can I use the knife? There we go. Oh, friend, you're so cute. Perfect. Get out, scavengers. Deadly worm, sir, will you come visit me when I die? I always come to visit those whom time has left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. That's creepy. All right, it word. We got the stuff. Oh, I can probably take my pills off. Though what's it word look like? Oh, okay. That's a whole lot of not good. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh Flesh, fresh flesh. Mmm. Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other place. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? You are the Camelas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Yeah, let's uh, get rid of that nightmare. Oh, look at the little clockwork bird. That's the cutest. Wow, a mechanical bird. This is grand. Hello, I think I hear something. Many tiny lights. Did you, did you find the fireberries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. I did. Sir Itward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. 
They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been in the into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Okay. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's go. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Okay. So now are we going to be like walking around inside the machine? Certainly looks that way. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, friend? Uh, understand more, or where is it? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Soon, but why not now? Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time. You have to explore an experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them, not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the water pump working again, and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes me m it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. I wonder what this machine does. Um, oh, music. Hmm, this music makes me think of forks. Maybe it's done with forks. You never know. I'll keep this. Duct tape is always good to fix things. A wooden foot. It reminds me of when I was a tree. A hammer. Obviously to hammer stuff. Uh, what? What the? Uh, why would you put the sole of a human foot on the bottom of a shoe? Uh, feet. One foot with a shoe, one foot without a shoe. It's the Ethereal language again. I wonder what it says. Is that foot flesh on the shoe sole? Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit creepy. It weird. I'm not sure how to feel about you. Ha, huh, feather. Like the great wizard's riddle. Oh, this looks very complicated. I think Itward has style. He likes things that I also like. All these details make me wonder. Alright, so he said I can go in any door I want. So I guess we'll wander around. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Alright, fine. Oh, it's the robotic Mr. Midnight who helped me! Robotic Mr. Midnight. Lovely bears, they hold each other's hands. Many shoes. Maybe they're too tight for the big it word. There are many women's shoes too. Maybe it would likes them. It relates back to that book, I'm a little concerned. Lovely bears. Yeah, you said that already. A clock. That's King Ziar. I recognize him. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Many things to look at. Lots of books. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. 
I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. It doesn't have wires. How does it work? Edward's technology is amazing. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem, but I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Okay, so many Mr. Midnights and pinwheels. I wonder if Edward really does love black cats. If these dolls represent Mr. Midnight, it would be strange. It would make me wonder so many things. About like a little puppet theater? It feels like something is missing. Hmm, the keyhole requires a key for sure. Okay. Um. Hmm, so many tiny gloves. They look a bit familiar. The door is closed. Maybe it can open it later. Okay. I can't go up the ladder, right? Oh, the ladder leads to the door that's closed. Alright. Oh, do I need to press the button again? Aw, hey! You're so cute! Wow, that's a huge spinning top! Oh, the compass goes in circles, upside down and nowhere. Those lights show for sure that something is working. I'm guessing this may be the engine. Oh no, chemistry? Really? Oh jeez. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere. Blue hose, ready to use. Clearly I'm missing something here. Let me see. Hmm, AFM missing. Okay. What do you have inside, little bottle? Okay, I'm clearly missing something here. What does that say? Uh, oh, is that how to get the water pump working? Water in there. Turn that down. Turn that, connect that, and light a fire, and flip that, okay. The ventilation swirl, I won't touch it, I will. I could harm myself. Uh, reality view, ultra reality view, chemical mixture, fireberries. Micronutrient and fireberries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Okay, so I still, I need to get AFM, that's the first one. Oh gosh, this is gonna get complicated. All right, let's get the water bo boiler going first. So open this, the water goes in there. The pump is now filled with water. Close it, flick that. Oh, that's good thing we picked up this tape. Great, it fixed. I should give myself a hug for being so clever. I think that needed to be like that. That needs to be like that. All right, is it good? I think that means it's good, right? match that over there. Oh, I need to make sure that's plugged in. Yeah, it is. Okay. Maybe I need to light it first. Can't turn on the fire. There's no gas coming from the pipes. Okay, I guess it's working, even though it hasn't said it is. Um, hmm. Need to find the AFM thing. The vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. Hmm, are these to drink water? They're quite small. 
look at this mess. Ew, it doesn't know about hygiene. Okay. Can I take my pills in here? Uh, what? Okay. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Oh, there's a hose here. A hose, it has a sort of connector. Where's the missing part? Did you hear that? Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. There's an eyeball here. That's nice. Oh, and there's a hose there. Oh, this looks like a green octopus hose. Okay. Still looking for AFM. Maybe it's in the other room. Because I didn't try the pills in here. Oh, it's the twi twins and they've got the key for the puppet theater. And they're smiling. Well, she's smiling creepily. Are you, are you here to kill Itward? Hello, why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, a little key. I wonder what it's for. I can tell you what it's for right now. It's for that puppet theater. There you go. Let's see what happens. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Jeez, dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. That's all your, it's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped in the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed their bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have and just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing and the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Okay. So I guess that's the story of the twins. Okay, nothing else here. Well then. All right, let's go see Edward and see if he acknowledges that the furnace is working. I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Sir, can you tell me again what I was supposed to do? 
Sure, get the water pump working and the fuel mixed. Just follow the wall net wall newels. It's like manual, but on the walls. What? I thought I got the water pump working. Is there a specific, like... Oh, no, not this one. I wanna look at this one. Reality and ultra-reality, interesting. So water in there, flip that. That has to be sideways. That needs to connect. Am I missing that connector? And then that has to be flipped in the fire. This looks like it's connected though. Pump is now filled with water. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's going. Is there a way for me to check? be turned on in order to work. Hmm. Yeah, so I need AM AFM, but I don't have that. Uh, actually, looking at the time, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, I might wander around off camera and just try to figure out like what I'm supposed to do next. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll figure out how to get this fireberry mixture mix and also the water pump working though. I'm pretty sure it's working. The light is green. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys are enjoying this series and you like this video, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.